Hi, in this video I'm going to give you an introduction on how to use the self-build robotic arm kit with the Fuse Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Now the robotic arm is a great little electromechanical project for young budding engineers that you assemble yourself. It took me about five hours to put it together using only a screwdriver, a diagonal cutter, long nose pliers, and a small file to remove some of the sharp edges on the plastic. All the parts are numbered and the instructions are clear and easy to follow. Once complete, you can program it using Fuse Basic to carry out simple tasks. So let's load a program I wrote that instructs the arm to pick up a small bottle of soap like this one, then put it down again. So here goes. So how did we get the robotic arm to carry out this task? Well, there are five servo motors in the arm that control the body, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist and the clamp. And you can program each of them to rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise and to stop. You also have a light which can be turned on and off. Well, let's look at a few lines of the code that can be used to control the arm body and then the arm wrist. First, Let's reload Fuse Basic and at the prompt let's type in arm body. Arm body, open brackets, one and close brackets. Now as soon as I press the enter key, the body will rotate clockwise. To stop it, select the up arrow to display the previous command and edit it by replacing the one with a zero and press enter. To bring the body back to its original position, we edit the last command and replace the number zero with minus one, and then a zero to stop the arm body once again. This time we'll use the command arm wrist, open brackets, one, close brackets. Then to stop the movement, we replace the one with a zero. To bring the wrist back to its original position, we use the command arm wrist minus one, then zero to stop it. So I think you get the idea and we can do the same thing for the arm shoulder, arm elbow and the arm gripper. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. For those of you who would like to purchase the robotic arm and a few Raspberry Pi to carry out this exercise yourself, then the links are below. In the next video, I'll show you how to write a program to control the robotic arm in more depth. That's all for now. Until next time, bye and thanks for watching. <laughs>